Okay, look into the next question. Consider the regression equation. You're given this regression equation. And it says that Y represents the coffee consumption in US and X represents the retail price of coffee and T is the time period. The first question is, is this regression equation time series or cross-sectional? So as you can clearly see that there is this subscript P here and P itself means that this goes across time periods. So time period 1, time period 2, time period 3 and so on. And the data is fixed. Data is about coffee consumption in US, in one country. Data is just one data point. So when you have one data point going across different time periods, it is cre uh, clearly a time series data set. So we know that this is a time series data set. The second says sketch the regression. So you can see that uh, to sketch the regression, I need to go ahead and I need to put X as zero. So when I will go ahead and when I will plug X as zero, I will get yt hat is equal to 2.6911 minus 0 0.4795 into 0. So this will be 2.6911. So this represents the coffee consumption when price of the good is 0. So that is going to be 2.6911. And then how y changes as x changes, this will be minus 0 0.4795. And this represents the slope. So it says that if the price of coffee increases by one unit, then on an average coffee consumption will decrease by 4.4795 units. So if I were to go ahead and sketch this, the question is asking to sketch. So I have taken coffee consumption on the y-axis. Mm -mm, I should just revert it. I should be writing price here. I have taken price on the y-axis and coffee consumption on the x-axis. Huh. Right. Mm -mm. Sorry, my bad. We have this habit of drawing inverse demand function, inverse supply function. That's why. Price only, huh? This is econometrics. In micro, macro, we always end up drawing everything inverse, now. Huh? Although price is independent variable, we always take price on the y-axis. We draw inverse demand function. Econometrics is not required. So I've taken coffee consumption on the y-axis and price on the x-axis. So when my price is zero, then I am consuming 2.6911 units of coffee. And then when my price increases, the demand of coffee is decreasing. And this is the slope. This is reflecting how coffee consumption changes when price changes. And this is minus 0 0.4795. Right. Okay. Come to the next question. It says, give the interpretation of the intercept term. Does it make any economic sense? So for intercept term, it's pretty simple. Intercept term, kaise nikalta hai? when you plug this as 0, the value that you get, that becomes the intercept term. So in this case, I am plugging X as 0 and I am getting my intercept term, right? X was going ahead and reflecting the retail price of coffee. So it is asking, does it make any economic sense or no? The answer is no, it does not. Why? Because coffee is a good traded in the market. Anything that is traded in the market cannot be available free of cost. If it is free, then why will the consumption be only 2.69 units? If it is free, the consumption should be infinite. The demand should be infinite. Everybody will demand coffee, right? Anything that is free should have infinite demand. Enough. Unless it's a bad good, like pollution, like COVID. If it is a good good, then when it is available free of cost, it will always lead to overconsumption. So there is no reason why people will only be demanding 2.69 units when price is zero, when X is zero. So, of course, it does not make any economic sense. But according to econometrics, it's fine that this is the intercept term and it tells us average coffee consumption when price of the good is zero. Okay. Then this says, how would you interpret the slope coefficient? So, very simple. When price of coffee increases by one unit, then on an average, but a likhna bohat zaruri hai ye term, on an average, the coffee consumption falls by 0 0.4795 units. Falls, huh? 
because of the negative sign i am writing the word false okay so this is estimate price elasticity if possible but what is the formula of price elasticity how quantity changes when price changes into initial price by quantity right how quantity changes when price changes into initial price by quantity now try to think about it from this equation that is given to us which says consumption is a function of price from this equation i can go ahead and i can tell this thing that so i can go ahead and tell how my quantity will change when price changes x is the price y is the quantity so i can find this out and i can get minus 0.4795 but for price elasticity what do i need beta i need x by y into dy by dx i need initial price by initial quantity into dq by dp so this is only telling me this part this is only telling me how my quantity will change when my price changes but how about the initial price and quantity you should be telling me that you know the price is 10 if you give me the information about price i will be able to find out the quantity i will be able to plug those values here and i will be able to find the elasticity but if you don't tell me the price or quantity i won't be able to fill in this and i won't be able to find the elasticity so i need to know the value of price to find the quantity and therefore to find the elasticity as of now all i can do is find the slope of this regression line but i cannot find the elasticity am i clear with it this is i have written here to estimate price elasticity we need additional information about initial price and quantity 